So guys, so um, coming to you with another review. Yesterday I uploaded a uh, video blog of me shopping at Nike, uh, the Nike factory outlet, and I copped uh, two pairs of shoes, and I'm gonna do both of them in this video because I don't want to do two separate reviews on them. It's just gonna take uh, too much time to upload. So I'm gonna show you both of what I copped, and I got a really good deal on them. Let's put the receipt back in the bag. Oh, anyway, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I did with the receipt. Anyway, um, the first shoe I'm going to show you, I got this at the factory outlet. I think somebody returned it, and it was on the clearance wall. It was, um, if you go back and watch the video, you'll see it. Um, it was an additional 20% off, and um, the price on it was 154 or something. So it came out to be like 130 or something like that after tax. And of course this is the uh, Cyber uh, Cyber Monday Retro 1. Alright. So you guys can see this. Now I've already laced them up because um, I didn't want to waste time on the video. Uh, showing you guys, you know, lacing it all up. I just figured it would take too long so I laced them up last night. So uh, you guys can see it's all black laces. It comes with an extra pair of white laces. So I'll show you the shoe all the way around. So no real bad excessive flaws. I guess maybe just the person decided that uh, it was too big or too small or maybe just decided they didn't want them or Maybe they returned them because they didn't have enough money to buy the Retro 7, Retro 11s that are coming out this weekend. So, um, anyway, uh, size 8 is what I bought. I wear a size anywhere from size 8 to 8.5 and in Retro 1s. Um, you see the Nike Air for the OG. Um, no Jumpman on the back. It's all, all completely black. This reminds me of the uh, black and gu gum bottoms. It's just black and white, white on the bottom. So I'll do one more 360 view up close. All right, and so that's what they look like on like on there. And I'm gonna do a on feet review real quick of them. Now. I was going to pass on these shoes because uh, I have a lot of retro ones already and um, these are still sitting on shelves here in my, uh, in my area so they didn't sell out immediately so I could have waited to cop them later um, but when I went into the Nike outlet when I saw them on sale uh, I just couldn't pass them up so I went ahead and got them. And when I initially first tried them on, feeling this leather is actually really soft, which kind of surprised me. Um, the other leather, like on the maybe the UNC ones, was a little bit harder. So you can see this leather is actually really, really soft. And you can see the size 8, my toe's right here. So it's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it ran a little bit big on this one for some reason. But I'll show you what it looks like on Fate 360. And I'm kind of glad I got a smaller size because at least it won't crease as much. But I'm still going to put four shields in them later anyway. Let me fix this a little bit so you guys can see. So very clean, very clean, simple colorway. Uh, you know, pretty much matches with everything. And um, I may switch out to the white laces later to make it pop more instead of making it all black. But I like the all black um, because it's kind of sleek looking. So I may switch out later if I get bored. But so I, I got a perfectly good pair um, at the factory outlet. Like I said, when I was I went to go return some shoes in the video blog that I did, and I just went to the back and 
I found this pair on the wall. And I was like, well, you, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and get them. So I returned to some shoes thinking I was going to save some money. And then I ended up copping some shoes. So that's what these look like on feet. So the next shoe I got at the outlet was... Um, and I've been wanting a pair of these for a while now because my friend keeps talking about how how nice they are and how comfortable they are. But I never was able to cop a pair. Well, not able to cop a pair, but I just never wanted to pay full price for them. Because these shoes cost $150 retail. You see there? $150 retail. But um, somebody must have returned them. And when they return them and they put them on the shelves, they rip the box tops off of them at the factory outlets. I wish they wouldn't do that, but they do that to, I guess, show the shoe um, because they can't flip it under. So it was 119 plus 20 percent off. So I got a size eight in this um, because it's a mesh material. These are the Oreo Flyknit racers. Um, I'll show you a full 360 view of it. It's a very light shoe. And like I said, my, one of my friends, all he buys is just this. He buys like every colorway that drops. So he's always been telling me about how good of a shoe it is. And so I've always wanted to get a pair to see how it was. And when I tried it on, it was really comfortable. So um, I decided to go ahead and get myself a pair. It's a very light shoe. I mean, extremely, extremely light. And um, this is just like a meshy material. It's that fly, it's that fly knit, of course. Um, I don't think any of it's 3M, but I don't have the flash on anyway, so I couldn't tell you if it's 3M or not. But I'm going to put them on, so on the inside it says racing. Racing road. And you see size, my size is size, size 8. Normally I wear a size 8.5, but 8.5 would have been too big for me, so... Uh, size 8 fits me perfectly on these. So, I really like this colorway. Um, the other colorways are a little bit, you know, flashy. But, um, this Oreo colorway was, uh, more simple and plain looking. So that's why I kind of got, I wanted this pair more than the other ones. But I know a lot of people like the uh, rainbow colorways and all those other different colorways. But um, I just wanted to play in simple Oreo colorway. So my friend was right. These shoes are really comfortable. Um, it's just real uh, soft material. Alright, very clean looking. This is a very extremely light shoe. I think this is probably one of the lightest shoes I've had. So, I know it probably makes my foot look really, really small, but um, I think it's a dope shoe. I really wanted this shoe, I just didn't want to pay 150 for it. Um, getting it on sale for one nineteen plus twenty percent off. The shoe came out to be like ninety six dollars after tax. So, in the outlets, um, if you spend over two hundred dollars, they give you a fifty dollar gift card to use. If you spend over a hundred, so uh, in January, so uh, you might want to go check out your outlets. And if you spend over two hundred in January, you can go back there. If you purchase over a hundred again. You can use that gift card coupon uh, and they'll give you $50 off. So you might want to check that out. But this is what the uh, Oreo Flyknit Racers look like. And these are really dope. I don't have to worry about them creasing. These are running shoes, of course. Um, the material is really soft. I don't know um, if they have, I don't think they use any air units in it. I can't really feel it or not, but it feels more like a, like a lunar lawn. Or something like that or you know like foam so if you know if there's any air or zoom units in the bottom of these let me know because uh, these are my first pair of flying racers so I'm not real familiar with it so 
Uh, let me know if there are units in the bottom, but I don't think there are because I think this is just one solid uh, foam sole. So, anyway, that's what they look like on feet. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show what I got um, at the Nike factory outlet because I felt like this was a really good deal. Uh, being able to cop the Cyber 1s and the Oreos that I really wanted and not having to pay full price, can't really beat that. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. Peace, guys.